If you've already made a decision to become an entrepreneur, but you don't know what to do next, today in this video, I will give you a five step process for you to become an entrepreneur, the evolution of becoming an entrepreneur, and uh, you can make a decision for yourself on which route you wanna go to. So before I get into the five step, let me first talk to you about different industries, sectors, routes, services you can take to becoming an entrepreneur because it's not, the great thing about wanting to become an entrepreneur is not one dimensional. There are multi dimensions of becoming an entrepreneur and I'll share with you which route I took but there's many routes. So as I go through all of these here with you, you need to ask yourself what sparks. You may be a 17 year old watching the same, boom, that sparks with me or make a list of three. Then investigate those three and choose one of the routes and give 10 years to it. So now, you know, you, you may be a 32 year old and you're saying, I've already made a decision which route I'm going to, but how do I make a decision to take it to the next level? I may talk about that at the end of this video. So first, let's start off with the top left, financial. This is the route I took. I started off with different ones, but this is what I connected with the most. Now for you, financial could be many different things. It could be somebody selling memorabilia. I know somebody who sells $100,000 baseball cards or more. That's what they do. They just sold one card for $1.55 million. Uh, $1.15 million. It was a Mickey Mantle 1952 Tops uh, baseball card. PSA, I think it was nine that sold for 1.15 or PSA eight that sold for that much money. That's memorable. Maybe art is financial insurance, stocks, real estate, uh, artwork, whatever it is, that's all part of financial, Forex, commodities, that's financial. Then you have consulting. You could be somebody that helps with strategy. We're gonna come in and help your business put a strategy together, take it to the next level. Lawyer, you're still consulting, IT consulting, marketing, advertising, CPA. That's all part of consulting. Services could be your personal trainer, car wash, Uber, uh, uh, cleaning pools, haircut, that's service because I can cut my hair myself, but maybe I'm not gonna do as good of a job as you are, you're an expert. I come to and I pay the $20 in exchange for you to do this as an expert because I don't wanna do so, I'll give it to you. That is an exchange for service that you're providing me. Hospitality could be restaurant, hotel, bar, nightclub. You may say, man, I just love bar. I grew up in it with my family. I wanna go and find a way to make a real cool bar and that's what I wanna do, restaurant. My mother's got this most incredible recipe and what if we can turn it into a business, right? Inventor, could be research and development, it could be technology. You can invent the next table that turns around into a whole different thing and then you turn it around, color changes, all these other things you can do as an inventor. Then you have nutrition, which is health and fitness. You can take the nutrition route, the gym route, medical route. You may like that. You may go want to find a cure for cancer. You may want to go out there and open up a gym and what makes your gym very cool is it's a gym combined with a library and hey, Matter of fact, that may be an incredible idea right there for you to be thinking about. I'm gonna open up a gym and I'm gonna add a bookstore to it. Can you imagine you're selling, buying books on this side, then I'm gonna go lift weights. So after my workout, I have a smoothie or something and there's books I wanna buy. Next thing I'm buying two or three books. That's your niche. You wanna do gym and something else at the same time. Manufacturing, cars, computers, clothing. You like clothes, you wanna go a certain brand. Expertise, language. You speak multiple different languages. You wanna take that to the next level, electrical, plumbing software, coding, fashion. You see fashion in a different way where people look at you and you just know how to put it together. Uh, then you have entertainment. Entertainment could be graphic design, movies, uh, dancing, editing, m music, writing, acting, makeup. You're just, you're all about entertainment and that's fascinating to you. Agriculture could be farm, equipment, natural resources, oil. And obviously some of these things connect with other ones that we have here but you can pretty much choose. By the way, there's some that I'm not even putting here on the board because we would need a 10 times the size of this board to have it on here, but you get to pick and choose which one you wanna go with. For me, one of the things I notice happens a lot is the newness mentality, which is a big mistake for some veteran entrepreneurs, which means what? They made a decision to be in one, they've been in it for five to 10 years, all of a sudden they say, no, I wanna try this, no, I wanna try this, no, I wanna try that, no, I wanna try this, thinking that's the real issue or the challenge, but you gotta choose one and stick to it for 10 years. So now, let's just say you watch this, and he said, okay, how to become an entrepreneur. I connect with this, I connect with this, I connect with this. Great, what do I do next? Five steps. Choose one route, one route, choose one route. Two, go find a place to work. Four, you're not an entrepreneur yet, but go find a place to work for, and learn from somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. Three. 
become an expert at that one thing. So for instance, you go into insurance, you learn under a company, let's just say you got a job, you're working under Northwestern Mutual. I'm just throwing a na name out there. Then from there, you decide to go somewhere where it's, you know, you, you learn under a great producer and you learn how to do all the stuff that he's learning and then you become an expert at insurance. You go work in a hotel uh, uh, restaurant and you work from the bottom, you become a, you know, a busboy and then you become a hostess, then a waiter, then you become a restaurant manager, then you move up in the restaurant and then you say, man, this is exciting. I want to run a restaurant. I want to run a restaurant within a very massive chain. I want to go to Europe and do all this other stuff. Whatever it is. Step number one, choose a route. Number two, work for somebody that knows what they're doing and work your way up. Three, become an expert. Four, four, find a way or two to make it better. Find a way or two to make it better. So you're going to write things down. So I'm, I would do it much better if we did it this way. Once you find a way to make it better, then become a leader either in the company you're part of where you have a voice and ask to own a piece of the company or earn to have a piece of the company or two, if they say no, leave and go to another place where you can own a piece of the company or become an entrepreneur. That's the route. You can pick and choose how to get to that route. Very simple. Choose a route, work under somebody, you can learn from them, become an expert, make a list of how you would do it better. Next, become a voice and a leader, ask to own a piece, earn a piece. If that doesn't work, go to another place where you can or start it yourself and become the entrepreneur, especially throughout the entire time because I get a lot of people that tell me things like, hey, Pat, I have this great idea and, and what do I do with this great idea I have with the company because I want to become an entrepreneur, but I don't have any money, so how do I become an entrepreneur? Almost every entrepreneur I know worked somewhere, made some money, saved the money, then they started a business. That's how it works. It's not just, I've never ran a business before. I've never had a job before. I've never done anything before. Can you please give me a half a million dollars? There's an evolution you got to get through to becoming an entrepreneur. Now, obviously, there are many different routes, just like a relationship. You can meet somebody and you marry them out of church. Somebody else meets them on Tinder. Somebody else meets them on Line. Somebody meets them on Facebook. Somebody meets them at a party. Somebody meets them at a bar. There are many different routes that you can. But when it comes down to entrepreneurship, this step that I told you, the five step, happens to be the most common way for you to become an entrepreneur and eventually build a business, become successful, make a ton of money for yourself and have fun doing it. So with that being said, Polly, why don't we throw the pillow out here? I think I forgot one other point, right? I think I forgot one other point to add. On my top right, my top left, your top right, there's three ways you can sell these products. One is face-to-face. Then I think it's online, then I think it's phone call. It should be right up here. Yes, face-to-face, -face, online phone call. You will pretty much figure out how you can sell these products. You can sell face-to-face, -face. I'm gonna come sit in front of you and sell it to you. I'm gonna sell this product online, or I'm gonna sell this product through a phone. Whatever way it is, you try to find a way to do it better. Anyways, uh, you got any questions about this, comment on the bottom. If you have not subscribed, Paul, this is an older pillow, Polly. Right. We, got, we got a new pillow. We got, you know what, Paul, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this a little bit different? Show me, do we pick that one, right? Why don't we show all, give me three of them. Give me the top three. Here's one of them that we like. Oh, no. Good. We're good. You're so funny, man, kids. We got to record what Paul just did, man. Only Paul would spill something like this. Just turn it around. Mario, I hope you see this because Mario always give Paul a hard time. Is that water? For be that is not shake. water. It's protein shake. Oh. Paul, oh, man, Paul, he's got to do things like that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this here is from Sarah Shabana, which, by the way, this is probably the most comfortable, you know, the, the quality. Sarah, I don't know. i got to give you some love here. This feels amazing. This is from Sarah Shabana. It was top three. Then we have one from Billy Wilson, which we love, Billy Wilson's. Uh, let's put a picture of Billy Wilson's, the, the, the the, the bird he gave to Kansas State when he dropped out in USA Today and Huffington Post. Everybody wrote a story about him. And he said, I dropped out after watching a video, stay in school or drop out on value tame. And this is from Billy Wilson. Billy, cannot wait to see a rocket in the world of entrepreneurship. You got the fire to pull it off. I'm looking forward to hearing your success story. This is from Billy, but we didn't choose it at first place. First place goes to this one here. Jennifer Max Pillow, uh, value tame. 1 million subscriber is the goal. Jen Mac, thank you for this pillow. And for the rest of you that are watching, we have a lot of other pillows that we got here, but these were top three. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you got any questions about this, you can snap me, 
But when you snap me, please do it through video, not just text. Do it through video because it's easier for me to respond back. And don't do a 50-part video. Do one or two videos that you put so I can get back to you at times when I'm able to check it. And my snap code should be on the video, I think to the bottom, bottom my right, your bottom left. I think it's over here, right? Yeah. It's over here. Click on this to follow me. Username is David 19 But this is the pillow we will be using in all of 2017. And Paul, you got to make sure you clean up all that protein right that you're making a mess with here, man. Here, go on the pillow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is just nonstop with Paul, man. Hey, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.